Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I have an updated house tour. It is our two year house anniversary. So I thought this was the perfect time to show y'all all the updates that we've made to the house as well as some plans that we have in store. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are two years later and we are giving a updated house tour. We purchased our first home here at Fort Bragg two years ago and we have been busy busy with making it our own first thing we did was paint these shutters and our front door black and it really livened up the front of the house and we also did some work in our flower bed so let's go inside and see some afters So when you first come in, we completely redid all of the flooring on the first floor. It is luxury vinyl plank and we love it. It's great with our dog, as you see there. Um, it hasn't scratched or had any issues. And then we did paint the entire house. So this was a dining room and we turned it in to our little office slash workout area. I love the ceilings in here. Um, the only thing that we did in here, again, was paint and floor, and it completely transformed the space. For the entryway here, um, we did change the light fixtures throughout most of the house, and I got them on Wayfair, and I'll link them in the description below. But y'all, paint, flooring, and light, fixtures alone completely transforms the space. This is our powder bath here. And in here, we also changed out the vanity, mirror and lighting. And I love how classic and chic it is now. This is another big transformation here. This wall used to be red and we painted everything Sherwin-Williams passive to really brighten the space up because as you can tell, the house doesn't have any windows on the sides, only on the front and back. So we don't get a ton of natural light because we also have um, a ton of trees behind our home. So we don't get a lot of light. So that was my goal to really brighten up the space. And I love the way it's turned out. I also painted the fireplace here. It was like a yellowy granite stone. And I just painted it um, alabaster by Sharon Williams. And I think it just brightened it up. I do have plans to retile it. Um, but until then, this was a great budget friendly solution. Next up, we have the kitchen. This is another big transformation. Um, we did paint all of the cabinetry, change the lights as well in here, and it really, really, really made this kitchen feel brand new. We still do have plans to change out the countertops to some white quartz, as well as the backsplash. We are wanting to do beadboard, and then also we will probably get a new sink. While I do love this sink, um, I really want a white sink with the white counters. Again, to brighten everything up and feel fresh and clean. And then I'm also considering changing out the hardware to gold and possibly painting the light fixtures as well. Um, again, I'm trying to brighten everything with the dark floors. I think the gold light fixtures would really pop. So that is also on our to-do list. And for the cabinets, um, it is alabaster by Sherwin Williams, the same as the fireplace. And I did hand paint all these. Um, the drawers and the door faces, we used a sprayer. And it worked for the most part, um, but using a brush and doing it by hand is definitely a lot easier. Next up, we have our breakfast nook, which we turned into our dining room as you can see, and I love it. This light fixture is one of my favorites, and I feel like it really ties the space together. And then we have our pantry. We have a nice size walk-in pantry. 
we're still in the middle of organizing everything in here but as you can see it has changed a lot since we moved in two years ago as far as um, finding a place for everything again we do have this pantry still on our to-do list we haven't really done much in here um, we plan on painting and replacing the wire shelving with some wood shelves and possibly some cabinets as well this pantry uh, paint color was what the entire house was painted so as you can tell it was very dingy in my opinion and i love the passive color that we went with downstairs and this is our entryway we added this really really easy board and batten detail to the wall here and added some hooks to make it very functional um, before there was nothing there and i feel like this really just makes this little area pop next as we go upstairs we've painted all of this as well as replaced the light fixture which i will show you guys once we get to the top here How pretty is that? So pretty. Next up we have our master bedroom. This is another big change for us. Um, this wall was teal and we painted everything upstairs, the alabaster that we painted, the kitchen cabinets and fireplace. And I feel like it makes everything feel fresh and clean, which is my goal. And again, it brightens everything love our new furniture we got and these pillows how beautiful and serene are these blue pillows love of love them and then next is our bathroom this is another area that we did work on and it has definitely been upgraded and we have done a lot in here as you can tell we did some pill and stick vinyl flooring some grass cloth wallpaper we also added a little um bad and Borton detail here replaced the vanity tops love of love these and i also painted the vanities we had planned on completely replacing them but i was able to just paint them and give them a fresh new look and for our closet this is another area on our to-do list, but we did change the light fixture in here and we have plans to build a custom system. Next up, we have our powder bath that we've redone. Again, painted in here. And I have replaced the lights, the mirrors, and painted the vanity and replaced the countertops the same as the one in our master. The lights and the vanity tops um, are from Lowe's and Home Depot, and the mirrors in both bathrooms are from Hobby Lobby. This is our guest room. It is still in the works, as you can see. Um, we are looking at new nightstands and a new bed, but we have made some progress in this room. This wall here used to be a chevron striped, metallic gray chevron striped wall. And I feel like this just looks a lot cleaner. I am planning on adding some more blue tones in here um, as we finish the room. I think it would look so good with the gold lamps we have and looking at replacing this light fixture as well. And then the last room we have here is my husband's office. He has built himself an Ikea desk, got a little lounge for his gaming area and it's perfect for his needs okay y'all i hope you enjoyed that's it for our updated house tour if you haven't seen our before video of when we closed on the house be sure to check that out i'll link that down below but i hope you enjoyed and found some great inspiration for your own homes until next time see you later